In this video, we'll show you how to make a seamless Instagram collage that looks like this and give you our customizable template for free because this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So posting a photo collage of different aspect ratios isn't anything especially new, but anytime we've posted one, we get a lot of questions about it. So we figured we should teach you how to do it for yourself. And there are apps that do this too that you could download, but I guess I'm kind of old school and prefer working on a computer. What's a computer? So we're gonna head into Photoshop for this video. And while Instagram does seem to be dying out, it can still be a good place to showcase your work. So let's get started. First, let's create a new document to work with. We need to decide what aspect ratio we want the collage to be. The most popular posting format to Instagram is a vertical four x five, since it utilizes the most amount of screen real estate. Our go-to resolution for four x five on Instagram is 1080 by 1350. So what we need to do next is decide how long we want the collage to be. Obviously, the more photos you want to include, the more width our document needs to have. Let's try making this a seamless four post collage. So make sure your height and width aren't linked to each other. Then in the width, just type asterisk four. This will multiply it by 1080. You can also just use a calculator and directly type in 4320, but this way is more fun. Okay, so we have our document set up with the right resolution. Now go to view, new guide layout. We just want columns checked, then under number, we want four. If you're making a five post collage, change it to five, six, six. Nothing for width or gutter, then click okay. So these guides give us an idea of what will be shown on each individual photo we post to Instagram as part of the collage. Now you're welcome to start dropping photos in and arranging them how you'd like, but I'll show you how to turn this into a template so you can reuse it multiple times. Now you'll need to decide what aspect ratios you want to include inside of the collage. Most digital cameras shoot two by three by default. Maybe you want to include some four by fives or 16 by nines, truly whatever you want. Here's the easiest way I found to do this. Select your rectangle tool, then click the gear icon at the top and choose proportional. And now enter the desired aspect ratio. I'll start with four by five. The color doesn't matter. I just want to pick something that you can see against the white background. Now click and drag to create the size of your first photo. You can then move it around wherever you'd like. Let's do this again, but with a different aspect ratio, maybe a horizontal three by two. Same thing, click the gear icon and type in a three and a two. And again, we can move this around wherever we'd like. Continue doing this for whatever other aspect ratios you may have and find a layout that you like. Now let's turn this into a template. Right click on one of your rectangles and select convert to smart object. If we double click the thumbnail of our smart object, it will load up in another window. All we have to do is place a photo in this document. But if you drag and drop it from outside of Photoshop, you'll probably get some issues with scaling. So I recommend opening the photo inside of Photoshop first, then you can select all and copy the photo and just paste it into your smart object. Then command or control S to save the smart object and back on our collage template document, we can see our photo has now been inserted where that rectangle was. Then just repeat the process with the other rectangles. As you're laying out the collage, you can also copy your smart objects you've already created to use the same aspect ratio elsewhere. But instead of simply just copying it, you'll want to right click and select new smart object via copy. If you were to just hold down alt or option and click and drag to create a duplicate of your previous smart object, it'll contain the same exact content as that first smart object instead of allowing you to insert a new image. So just create new smart objects via copies to fill out the rest of your collage. Then double click on each, place a photo and save it. You can feel free to keep it minimal or add design flourishes, totally up to you. A place you can look for free assets is Creative Market. Each week they have a selection of free assets including fonts, graphics, and photos. So you could drop in a background photo that may tie the theme of your collage together like this. You could also add a little map behind your photos. Just copy your smart object, move the lower layer where you want it, then double click to the right of the layer name to open layer styles. Then you can enable color overlay, make sure the blend mode is set to normal and choose a matte color. 
Now you can save this document as a PSD to reuse it if you'd like. All you have to do is replace the contents of the smart objects with new photos. It's also worth mentioning that, of course, you don't have to go the route of creating smart objects for a one-time use collage. You can always create the document with the guides, drop in photos however you'd like, and then export it and call it a day. The main benefit of the smart object would be if you want to utilize specific aspect ratios and don't necessarily have all of your photos already cropped to the right aspect ratio, that smart object will automatically keep things contained for you. Since we set up our guides at the beginning, this makes our job exporting these a lot easier. Click and hold on the crop tool to see more tool options, then select the slice tool. At the top, click slice from guides. Now go to file, export, save for web. I'll choose JPEG for the format, maximum quality with optimized checked. Then click save. Select your destination and make sure under slices at the bottom that all slices is selected then click save. And here we have our four photos exported out of Photoshop and we can now create a multi-post inside of Instagram and it'll be perfectly seamless. If you've watched our videos before, you probably know that we are pretty big fans of Squarespace. We have been customers of theirs for years, long before this YouTube channel even existed and still have our three Squarespace websites going strong. Usually we do something off the walls for our ad spots like fake our elopement to trick my mom, spoof old MTV reality shows, or do our best Peloton commercial parody. But I wanted to let you know about some new things cooking over at Squarespace. If you're a photographer looking to diversify your revenue streams, check out their new member areas. This allows you to sell access to gated content like video classes, digital downloads, or newsletters. Frickin' sweet. You can also showcase your photography with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Customize the layout, look, and feel to make it your own. Also, you can schedule and book appointments straight from your website. You need to lock in client meetings? Well, they can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, making your life a heck of a lot easier. And if that wasn't cool enough, you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you go to squarespace.com slash mango street, or just click the link in the description. That's all we've got for you in this one. We hope you found it useful, maybe even learned something new in Photoshop. A link to download our free template will be in the description below. If there's anything else you'd like to learn that we haven't already made a video about, leave us a comment below and we will see you in the next one. Bye.